Hi judges, I'm Servesh from 5795 back to the drawing board, and this is our control award video. This season, our main programming focus was giving the robot as much control and precision as possible, both mechanically and in software. Our auto scores all the possible points in all three possible paths. First, we use a camera to detect the number of rings. Using OpenCV, we take the average of the red difference component of the pixels inside a box drawn using OpenCV containing the rings and we compare that value to a known tested value for each stack. In the 0 and 1 ring paths, we target the 3 power shots to go for the maximum amount of points. For the 4 ring path, we just shoot the rings in the high goal to save time since we have to drive a further distance to deliver the wobble goal. Lining up to shoot the rings into the high goal also allows us to stay lined up to intake the 4 rings on the field. We applied and tuned a closed loop PID control to our shooter motor to make sure that the motor stays at a constant velocity when shooting multiple rings in succession. You can see an example of this in our four ring auto path. After shooting the available rings, we deliver both the wobble goals to the necessary target location based on the ring stack that we determined at the beginning of the match. And if there are any rings left on the field, we score them in the high goal. And finally, we park. This year, all our movement is controlled using our new odometer pods. We are using three odometers, two vertical and one horizontal. We have a thread that runs in the background of our auto to keep track of the robot's X and Y position and its heading, using an algorithm that uses the encoder values returned from the odometers and the control hub's built-in gyro. This information lets us move to specific coordinate locations on the field at whatever angle orientation we choose, with 0.5 inches of accuracy and 1 degree of accuracy. You can see more of our algorithm in our engineering portfolio and the design section of our notebook. Now let's talk about teleop. With our driver control, we wanted to take away as much human error as possible to leave no room for accidental mistakes. This includes minimizing the number of buttons and implementing automations for almost all the mechanical functionality. Initially, our wobble goal functionality took up four buttons, each to go to a different position. However, this caused many issues. To limit possible issues, we mapped the entire functionality, all four movements, to a single button. We also added a failsafe button to reset the wobble arm for immediate reuse. We also automated the shooting. So the driver presses one button to rev up and shoot all three rings quickly and accurately. As you can see here, we placed heavy emphasis on including as much computer-based control into a robot as possible, thereby limiting possible failures and accidental mistakes during matches. Thank you for watching, and good luck to all teams.